baby. to me right in front of my face <laughs> I can't believe you finally did it I am I'm still in shock honestly so in shock yeah well, it was I've been trying to do this for about two months now I was uh, I had the ring ready to go on Valentine's Day and yeah we woke up Valentine's Day and it was just the worst day it was just raining and windy it was like 60 kilometer winds or something i was like well, that's just because i had i was talking to the jeweler for like a month before that and i uh, was like we need it for valentine's day because i didn't want to do it on the 10 years uh, 10 year anniversary because it was just a bit obvious i think it was just expected uh, the whole uh the whole world was expecting it they'd follow me and um jamie would have expected it so i was like <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so then I was like, no, I'll wait till, um, what was after that? Oh, your birthday is like a week after our anniversary. I'm like, nah, it's still, I don't want to do it on your birthday. Valentine's Day was right. So I was getting the ring made. It had, it took probably four weeks to get made. And I had the team, a really good team, um, working for me. And they were going hard at trying to get it ready by Valentine's Day. And like... You know, we're going back and forth, sending updates, getting like you know, updates on what the ring looked like, changing things, and tell them that you designed the ring. Oh yeah, I designed it, but like finally got a sword day before Valentine's Day, and then woke up and yeah, the day was just cheer. So it was hard because mentally I prepared to do it then. It was like a month build up. That night I'm like it's happening, and you know I checked the weather the night before and I was like, you're kidding. It says it's going to be terrible, but I'm like, maybe they got it wrong, hopefully. And then, yeah, when I couldn't do it then, it was pretty much like, shit, like, that was me mentally ready to do it. And when I make my mind up, I wanted, I just wanted to do it. So, yeah. That was six weeks ago. That was six weeks ago. And then I was like, sweet, let's just go to the, this week, the next weekend coming. And I'm like, that's fine. And then I rolled around to that. And then I think... It was bad weather again, so I'm like, we'll try the next weekend. And here I am, because what I was doing, what was hard is I was working with Jamie's... Um, godmother. Godmother. And I was saying to her, like, she was the only one that knew because I, she was helping me with the ring. And um, I was like, what I really want to do is have Jamie's, like, family around after I propose. Yeah, let's do it this weekend. Like, yes, yeah, sweet, let's lock it all in. So she organises everything, like, the catch-up for after the proposal. And then we cancelled. And then the next week, same thing. And then cancelled. Man, it was just like, oh, I can't keep doing this because like it's stuffing up everyone around. And they're gonna like pick up. Why does Natty keep cancelling these plans? But then I was like pushing for the next weekend. And then we, then I got sick. So then that ruled that out. And then Wild was teething the weekend after and was sick for like three weeks. Oh, and then yeah. Jamie was sick through that time. So the next like month was a write off because we're all just sick. And then I was just like, I got this ring sitting in my cupboard, and. It was like, I, it's, it wasn't insured. <laughs> I was just like, if one day I come home and this house burns down or something, I don't know, like, I'm You're screwed. freaking out. Yeah. I hid it behind, I hid it behind this bag of um, vacuum parts, which no one touches this bag. It's just like full of dust. And um, I was like, sweet, I'll just leave it there until Jamie leaves the house and then I'll move it into a safer spot that's like more hidden. So anyway, it stayed there for like a day or two because Jamie, we just spent the time at home. And then um, she left one day and I was like, oh yeah, I'll move it, I'll move it. Cause, and I was like, oh, there's no rush. Jamie doesn't like, go near this bag anyway. No one touches it. So, <laughs> and then I was, and then she like pulled up in the driveway and I was like, fuck, I better move this real quick. So I ran in there and moved it and she pulled up in the car and literally I sat back down the lounge. She walked in and goes, oh, my car's a mess. I need a vacuum in the car and grabbed a vacuum bag. And I was like, <laughs> the ring was sitting right behind it. Like so in, lucky. In, the, in the ring bag and all that. But she just would have seen the jeweler name 
on the bag. And then you would have just found it. <laughs> and I would have just seen like the biggest anti-climax. So. And I also would have pretended I didn't see it. That would have been like. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I would have, but I would have known you seen it and been like. Yeah, no, yeah, I can't keep a secret. I'm terrible. Yeah, don't you? But yeah, he completely surprised me. I had no yeah. idea. So fast forward to the day, organised to meet at Fingal with Jamie um, and have like a picnic down there. But at the same time, not be obvious because I'm not really someone to be like, let's go on an adventure or let's go have a picnic. Like she knows that I don't do that stuff, but she organises that. So I do like be careful not to come across to like keen to have a picnic because she just knows something's up. Well, you'd know something's up if I did that, hey? Yeah. But that's why I had to be like, oh, I've been a finger in ages, eh? Like, wasn't making it obvious. And then puts on, like, this really nice outfit, does his hair. Yeah, which, you know, I always like, wear this hat, and then she's just like, I'm thinking, I've got to, like, I can't be wearing this hat if yeah. I'm going to go down there and do it. I need to, like, dress up, so I'm like... Yeah, so he's all nicely nice. dressed. I'm not... Because I have no idea, obviously. So yeah. I'm just in a swim top and my like terry toweling skirt that I wore that morning. Did not dress up for the occasion. Yeah. <laughs> well, you still look nice. What do you mean? Did I? Yeah. That's why like you put that little like dress and that in a bikini. What else would you would you have worn? Oh, uh, just a, a dress instead of a bikini top and skirt, I suppose. Yeah, yeah organised with a mate to um. It's not just a mate. Just a mate, like his family. Yeah, he's, um, for, for, give you some context, he is my brother that passed, Danny. It's one of his best friends, Alex. So it, it's really special that Kane chose him to do the video for us and take photos. It's really, really sweet. Also, got, got around to the day, obviously, we're going through the, the motions of getting it all sorted and while I decided to have a sleep because I, I plan to get down here at four o'clock have a picnic chill for a bit have some wine and then do it Wild slept for like three and a half hours or something and then we were still home at four o'clock and I'm just like <laughs> oh is he just gonna keep sleeping and it's gonna be dark like I need to be down there for the sunset yeah, he was doing 30 minute naps every day for like two weeks and then the one day I needed to do a 30 minute nap, he has a three and a half hour nap and just like, I'm, I'm at home, like Alex, I'm still at home there. Like he's still sleeping. <laughs> and like I don't want to wake you up because then he'd probably be crabby down there. And I wanted him to be, you know, part of it all. And then he woke up and I was like, let's go. We just like hurried everything up. Got it. I was the one just so organized and like getting out in the car, which is not normally like me. No. Yeah. So like, I was a different person yesterday. Yeah, that was nice. I was like, Oh, he's very punctual today. <laughs> so anyway, normally I'm in the car like, Kane, yeah. hurry up! Keeping the horn. Keeping the horn. So anyway, I get down there, and um, we're sitting there. We end up getting this beautiful little spot. It was like a little grassy spot on the edge, a cliff face overlooking the water at Fingal. Where Fingal's like our number one spot. We went all our first dates there. Just is a real special spot for us. Yeah, it has a lot of meaning for us. Yeah, all our first dates and. We did our photo shoot when we announced our pregnancy there as well. Yeah. Danny, my, my brother, used to take a lot of photos of us. We used, used to have a lot of beach days all together down there as well. So. Yeah, and like we we traveled traveled the world, lived in Europe. Um, you know, went to the Maldives, Bahamas, Greece, Greece, Croatia. all that. Like, and it, none of that meant like it was beautiful, unreal, but none of it had like a like it never felt. Like that's where I wanted to do it, just because it wasn't like it had no meaning behind it. It was just like a beautiful destination. And I always said like to myself that Finkel was the spot I wanted to do it. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Is that why you waited ten years? Yeah. That's why. <laughs> I reckon I got asked, no joke, more than a thousand times, when are you going to propose? Really? Yeah, more than a thousand times. Like it was like a, a DMs comments on photos of people just ask like I was getting messages like DMs saying like what, don't you believe in marriage like is it against your religion is it just like and I'm just like no like it's chill like I just 
I'm gonna do it when I wanna do it. Like, I don't know why I've got this timeline. Yeah, I just say, uh, like, a lot of people are just so accustomed to that, like, normality way of life. And it's just like, you know, people can do things when they want. They have kids when they want, they get married when they want. They buy a house when they want, they do what they want when they want. That's the way I wanna live, like, mm. you know. It's almost like you went the opposite way because of how everyone was. <laughs> no, yeah. That's how oh. I feel. I feel like because everyone pestered you so much, you were like, uh-uh, you can all wait now, including yeah, I, Jamie. I do like to do things on my own. <laughs> we get down there and we get this beautiful little spot on the edge of the cliff. And I say, like, Alex is already there. He's been down there since, you know, while we're still sleeping. This oh, is so organized. Alex. Yeah, I mean, I was at home and I'm like, I'm um, while it's still sleeping. He goes, don't worry about it, man, I'm already here. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> about 30 minutes. And then I'm like, mate, let's go. So then he takes off, he goes, sweet, I'll go out in the ocean about a few hundred meters and then I'll just like loop it around and then come across and then come down. <laughs> and like, I just, I didn't know, I've never done this before, obviously. And I didn't know like much about drones and how close they got to get and what the camera looks like, how far they are away. And um, so I, I see him cruising with a drone now and Jamie's got the worst eyes in history. So I'm like, she's <laughs> definitely not seeing it. If anyone's going to see it, it's Wild because Wild's eyes are insane. <laughs> like he'll spot a pee a kilometre away on the ground. Like he's just a freak with his eyes. And anyway, randomly, I don't know why, this lady just dead set walks she almost walked on our rug like we we're in this most random spot on the edge of the cliff sort of thing so secluded so secluded and she like comes around and walks right next to our rug and i'm just like what are you doing like there's <laughs> so much space to walk anyway i'm like as the drones like out in the ocean coming in i'm right into alex like hold up <laughs> go back out like i don't want this lady on our in the background all in our shot while i'm trying to do this Anyway, he like must have pulled up with the drone and then the lady kept walking and then I like got up and I was like, oh babe, I just want to get a quick photo of you and Wild. She's just like, huh? We've already, we've already got photos. Like, <laughs> no, no, I've already got photos, stubborn, babe. Stubborn Jean comes out and then <laughs> I was just like, get up, get up. And I see the drone just coming in. Damn, I felt like it was going so quick. It's because I'm like trying to get Jamie up and watching the drone at the same time. And then I've got the ring in my pocket, which I was paranoid about her seeing like a little square box in my pocket. And um, so then she would just refuse to get up. And then, <laughs> and then the drone. No, I didn't get up because I seen this drone. Oh, the drone come in and like. I was like, this drone is right there yeah. in my face. And I'm like, babe. Do you, are you not seeing this drone? Like yeah, it's she knows that, invasion like, of I privacy. Get so angry with like, I do get angry. Yeah, you get so angry. So I'm like looking at you like this, yeah, and I'm looking at this me. drone like giving it actual death stares. <laughs> she's like, waiting for me to do something <laughs> about like, this drone yeah, about coming drone. in on our picnic. I was so <laughs> pissed off. I'm yeah. like, get this thing away. <laughs> yeah, and then I was just like, oh mad. Like, <laughs> This is going well. <laughs> like Jamie's sitting down and she's more focused on getting rid of this drone. I'm sitting there <laughs> with the ring in my pocket trying to figure out which way to open the box because it's all... And then like I've got Wild, just grab Wild and put him on my legs. So I really wanted Wild in the moment with us. And then I was just like, um, that's when I got to say like how yeah, much... You know, I love Jamie and how much she means to me. And what did you nah, say? I'm not talking about Babe, it. I want to remember this because, like, huh. I don't, I didn't actually I'll remember. remember it properly because he was blubbering. He was, well, I couldn't even get the words out. <laughs> you could barely get the words was, out. You know, I don't often tell you this, you know, as much as I should, but you know, I love you so much and I appreciate everything you do for me and Wild. What did I say then? So, I just, I love you so much and I want you, um, I want to know, will you marry me? And then I opened up the, the box of the ring in it. And then, well, it was actually really good. And then I looked at and then I, and obviously I never said it that clear because as soon as I said, I mean, I don't know if I should tell you this more. And then I just started like blubbering and I was trying to like talk and then like I was tearing up. <laughs> and then I was saying, and then you were just more in shock. 
<laughs> Jamie's could process everything. Oh no, I started and then, crying. Yeah, and then Jamie started crying. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. And then, um, mm. yeah, then I was just blubbering, and and then I just said, "Will you marry me?" And then she, was, I remember you were just crying for so long, and then like we're just crying, and then like then you just like kissed me, and I'm like, you never actually said yes, and I'm like. <laughs> Well, will you? <laughs> and then, like, um, they tell me I've waited 10 years for this and you're not even going to say yes. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, yes, yes, yes. And then, like, <laughs> oh, yes. and then, yeah, got the ring. And, yeah, the thing I was looking forward to the most was putting it on a finger because I love Jamie's hand. She's got the most beautiful little sleek fingers and hands. So, yeah, I slid the ring on and... It's a little bit big. Bit big, but I wanted it. So that's why I had it on the middle finger before, because it fits that one better, yeah. and I don't want to lose it. Actually, it fits your middle finger perfect. It does. I don't want to lose it before I get it resized, so I'm like super paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> about it, <laughs> so I just put it on my middle finger, and I totally forgot. <laughs> but yeah, I put it on the right finger now. Um. <laughs> but yeah. it's a beautiful um, canary diamond. And I've always said to Kane um, how much I love canary diamonds and because it's yellow and on our first date he wore a yellow singlet and then on our first date to the beach I wore a yellow bikini and he said to me when I came down the beach he said um, I always thought in my mind if, if I ever seen a girl in a yellow bikini I would fall in love straight away. And then literally I had a yellow bikini on and I don't know, just yellow was your favourite colour. Yeah, I love the colour yellow on tan skin. Yeah. And yeah, Jamie's really brown and she wore a yellow bikini and I was just like, yeah, so is that why you like the yellow canary on? Yeah. Memories shot. I told yeah. him that probably ten years ago. So we had that many head knocks from footy. I just I'm surprised she got a sucks. canary diamond. That's why, I, that's why I want to get like the content, the video footage, because like I want to be able to watch all this. Yeah, you know? I'll be like fifty first dates. You know, like that chick that has to just watch the same stuff every day. I'll be like that. And no, then, no, don't say that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But like, it's we need good, to do more YouTube it's videos. Good to then. Know that like I've got it all on video. You know. So I can watch yeah. it. Yeah. And then um, Alex, yeah, filmed it, and then he came and took some photos of us, which was really beautiful all together. It was so nice, and it was the most beautiful sunset, and it was a full moon as well. Yeah, he just like ticked cool. every single box, and then um, the thing that really like made it incredible. I'm going to cry. <sighs> um. Oh, so hard. Can you say it? You can say it. It's hard not to cry. It's alright. Oh. So, <laughs> right after, <laughs> right after we were getting photos, and we were just standing around, just I don't know, just standing there. Kane was holding Bobby, and he goes, "Danny, Danny, Danny," and just started yelling Danny and that's my brother's name that passed away three years ago three years ago and his three year anniversary was only like literally a Last week, week yeah. ago and we spent a lot of time together at Fingal and I just when yeah, he started we always saying that Fingal together like us three Jamie Danny and I yeah so that was pretty cool because out of nowhere we all just started saying Danny and like Obviously, he's never met Danny. He just wasn't looking at like, anyone. Yeah, he just, I think there's no reason for him to say that. <laughs> he doesn't know Danny. He's never like, met never Danny. Like, never met him. Wouldn't, I don't know why he'd even say that. And he just started saying, like, no, none of our friends or anyone is, you know, he doesn't know any other. Yeah, there's no other Dannys. Yeah. And it was just such a beautiful moment. And, yeah. I will never forget it, and I know that he was there with us. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. Like because Danny and Kane were like best mates, and he would have been helping 
Oh, okay. Danny, it was funny because Danny always used to help me with like things for Jamie. <laughs> so if, I was, if it was a birthday or you know, coming up at Christmas time, I'd be like, come on, Danny, let's go shopping. We need to get Jamie a present. <laughs> and Danny just knew Jamie like so well. So well. Like, he was, yeah, they were like best mates. And <laughs> so perfect. I had like, you know. Danny's best mate there, Alex helping yeah. him. Yeah. And, and then Danny there in spirit. So. Yeah. And then my family came down. Oh, that's right. So yeah, I organized that too. So, um, <sighs> bam, rolled on down. And, and then we surprised them. Yeah. And, and then, yeah, and we kept, and then, um, for the rest of the night, Danny, I mean, Wild kept saying Danny just out of nowhere. And it was just so beautiful. Even when we were all together, uh, mm. it was such a perfect proposal perfect night afternoon yeah. so so grateful for the way it all happened and now that we're engaged it's so exciting so exciting i kind of just put it out of my mind it does feel better i remember we whenever i'd go places and then you know you're feeling out forms or you know anything and it's like oh who is your next of kin or you know who is your what's your situation your marital status you know, yeah always be like girlfriend or girlfriend <laughs> partner now i know fiance <laughs> yeah or like people would ask me like you know well have you got a um is that your wife and then i'd be like oh no no we're not married <laughs> <laughs> or like you know like now i can be like oh fiance so like that's gonna be cool. Yeah, that'll be nice. You're not just my boyfriend anymore. Boyfi. Boyfi. <laughs> so yeah, that's the story behind the proposal. It's the story of Jamie and Kane. <laughs> Our little love story. I can't wait to marry you. That'd be good. Mm. I'm looking forward to that now. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on the next vid. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start preparing this wedding, eh? <laughs>